So today I'm going to show you how I clean and oil my saddle. This is a 3B Vasilia saddle, single rig, made by a guy named Bob Ray. Um, before anybody asks, or since they probably will, this ring right here, that's my rooster crowing at my toddler back there. But anyway, this ring, when I'm uh, uh, not roping calves at Brandings, I have saddle pockets on here just to carry medicine and fencing pliers in and there's a strap that straps onto here that kind of keeps them from flopping around a whole lot and another thing that i think i that i'm pretty proud of i did myself is this uh, original rope strap broke off of here it was just a strap and there was a buckle down here but i took a piece of latigo saddle string and put a split in it right here and it goes up through this split in the saddle leather and this is the original screw and then these original saddles like this didn't have a a deal to hang your cinch on so I made this which is just this is a Turk's head knot a two strand Turk's head knot if people are interested in learning how to do that I can do another video and then there's a, just a split here so it goes through there like a button and then this wraps around a rope obviously and and then this just goes over the saddle horn to hold it in place but anyway onto the saddle clean what I start out with is I've got just a, a brush for a horse here that I use and I dunk it in the water tank there. I don't get it sopping wet, but just just damp. And then I scrub on it pretty good. I've already scrubbed on this side of the saddle and try to get all the dust and dirt and gunk out of here. It's a really dry year here in Wyoming. So this stuff just gets covered in so much dust. There's some of it that I think is probably just gonna live there permanently unless I really use the elbow grease to get it out of there. But scrub it all down real good. Make sure you get under here in all that stuff. There's a spot right here on your fender that rubs on your horse quite a bit. That'll get a, a big bunch of gunk built up. Make sure you get under there in your rigging and, and do your uh, latigo also. So the next thing I do is I take some of this type of saddle soap and I just spray it on there. And uh, I've got a sock then that I rub it in with and do the same spots, get all this, get underneath here, get this all really good. Also do your latigo, and then I'll spray it into the sock and wipe down these saddle strings also because these will get dried out and, and it kind of sucks when one of those breaks. So then the next step, this label is kind of messed up on this jug, but I take some Neats foot oil, pour it into the sock and rub all over everything. The one spot that I don't do is my horn wrap up here because that'll this is already slick enough you don't want to get it slicker by putting some needs foot oil on there but the same thing make sure to do all this your saddle strings under here everywhere all over again one thing i will tell you about that stuff though is it is going to make your saddle darker but that's just the uh, way it goes with with leather and saddles it's going to get darker no matter what just using it it's going to get darker and being outside it's going to get darker my rooster agrees with me one thing that I'll mention too is that right here where your leg sits is going to get a lot darker and it's especially if you only wear jeans because you're going to sweat through your jeans easy and then the dye and the fabric rubbing on here will make a really noticeable dark spot. So one thing you can do to avoid that is wear some shaps or chinks or armidas and you won't have such a noticeable dark spot right there. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I put the oil on and see how much darker it is. So here it is after I put the oil on it. I think you can probably tell it's a little bit darker, but uh, it'll also, it'll lighten up maybe a skosh, it's hard to say, but that's just kind of the way it goes. And don't worry too much about it getting darker. It just shows it's a well-used saddle. Another interesting thing I thought I would share is a couple years ago, I bought a, a Vasilia saddle for my son, an actual Vasilia saddle made from the company in, in Vasilia, California. And, it's old, but it's it's uh, it's still in really good shape. But it came with the horn wrap like this, and then the tail was put down through here, and it went over these uh, saddle strings here like a button. And I thought that was a really handy way to keep the tail of your horn wrap and out of your way and stays uh, keep it to stay in place. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. Go ahead and give that a try. Just take uh, your saddle strings apart and take this concho button thing off if you need to, and uh put it through this like a button and put your strings back on it's a pretty handy deal so then the last step is i take this skidmore's leather cream and rub it all over the same way you did everything else that needs for oil i think this just helps kind of protect it a little bit and has some other 
oils in there that's good for it other than just the neat's foot oil <clears throat> and then one other thing that i'll mention is when i start before i start i guess i set the saddle out i do this on a warm day and i let the saddle warm up a little bit this guy's tired of me making a video but anyways i uh, think the warming it up helps those the uh, oils soak in there better when the leather's warm like that so that's uh, I try to do it on a warm day so maybe give that a try and I hope that helps anybody who's uh, interested in how they should clean and oil their saddle at least that's how I do it and it seems to work good for me thanks for watching